morning, everybody. Sitting by the fire this morning. Um, I wanted to share with you something that's been going on with Bella, Miss Stella Bella, my beautiful 11 year old Bijan girl. Um, today is Thursday morning. Sunday, my son came over and I had bought some Belgium dark chocolates in little wrappers. Um, and he came in the house and he went in the treat drawer and he must have gotten some of those little wrappers of dark chocolate. And within five minutes of him being in the house, he brought Bella into the kitchen and said, Mommy, I think Bella got into something. And her face was all dark. And I smelled it and it was chocolate. And my son had just eaten some chocolate, so put the pieces together. I don't know. You know, he's 27 years old. I don't know how you people do it that have little kids in the house and they're bringing in chocolate. Uh, but he must have dropped one accidentally and she must have eaten it. Uh, and I was looking all over for the wrapper you know, she normally goes behind the couch and I could not find the wrapper. And of course I panicked, but I picked out, I picked up my scale. You know, I bought a scale to measure ingredients and I measured, Bella, what's going on? One of the chocolates with the wrapper on it. And it was only 0 0.02 of an ounce. And then Bella, come down. My son, um, found online a, um, I must be hearing some, you hearing some kids going to school? Uh, a little like app where you can see if your dog has toxicity in chocolate. And she did not. Um, and I'm gonna do an Instagram post to show you everything of, you know, why chocolate is bad um, and what you need to do if you think your dog ate chocolate. Anyway, um, I, I was not that concerned because she only ate one little piece. And um, I went ahead and I walked her right away. I gave her a lot of bone broth and pumpkin to flush everything out of her system and also hopefully flush out the wrapper because in my days, um, I have pulled a lot of napkins out of her butt um, she hasn't, she's had a few wrappers, but, and they've come out, but anyway, uh, I wanted the wrapper to come out too, right? Uh, because even though I, I knew it was dark chocolate and that is very poisonous to dogs, she had a very, very little of that. Um, anyway, that was Sunday. She pooped a lot on Sunday and there were good poops. There was one bad poop. Uh, but the, um, the other ones were good. And she ate beautiful food. But on uh, Sunday, well, actually, Monday morning at 5 o'clock, Tuesday morning at 5 o'clock, Wednesday morning at 5 o'clock, and this morning at 5 o'clock, she vomited a little. And so I knew there was something up. It wasn't that she was toxic with the chocolate because she would have been vomiting a lot, diarrhea and drooling and agitated. And she didn't have any of that. She was just vomiting a little each morning. And I just knew there was something agitating her. She was pooping great, uh, but there was something agitating her. And this morning at five o'clock, guess what? She vomited the entire wrapper in its existence. I mean, in its entirety, it wasn't, you know, ripped or anything. And I, I'll even post a picture of my Instagram, but this is one of the wrappers. This is not the wrapper that she vomited, but um, I don't know if you can see how big it is. It's, it goes from my finger. It's just like the size of my finger, you know, it's not very big. And this poor girl had this wrapper in her tummy. What was that? Four or five days. She was eating her food, she was pooping the food out. Uh, 
but it was still in there. So like every morning, early in the morning, it was pushing on her. And she was vomiting a little. She didn't vomit a lot because she was digesting all her food. Uh, thank God she vomited that thing out this morning on her own. But, <clears throat> you know, because she doesn't get sick. You can't see her because she doesn't get sick because I home feed her. Um, and I don't take her to the vets, but I knew there was something up. So anyway, I am going to post an Instagram um, to tell you about the uh, chocolate toxicity meter that you can go online and punch in, what kind of chocolate your dog ate, how much did your dog eat, etc. And um, just for your information, white chocolate has the least amount of toxicity with the cocoa bean mulch. I don't know if you've heard about that, but I heard about that a few years ago. People were getting this mulch, like from Lowe's, I think, and it had cocoa bean in it. And dogs were eating the mulch and getting like really, 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 really sick, some dying. Um, but dark chocolate, which she ate, is more toxic than milk chocolate. Um, Anyway, uh, lessons learned, you know, I buy dark chocolate for myself. It's good for you. And I like to have one a day. Uh, the one I get is from Trader Joe's, but I had bought this huge bag from Costco. Uh, it was a weak moment and um, I, I'm never doing that again. And like I said, I, I waited until my Third child was eight years old before I got a dog. I guess I don't have the personality to have a dog when my kids are little. I don't know how you do it between all the, the Legos on the floor that the dog can eat and, and all the table scraps that they drop and, and candy. I would have been a nervous wreck. So more power to you, dog mamas that have kids and have dogs. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. But at the ending of this video, if your dog eats chocolate, it's not good. You need to find out what kind of chocolate it is, how much you think they ate. You can call the poison control or call the vet. There's ways that you can induce vomiting if they advise that. Um, I would go ahead and invest in a turkey baster because um, we had to induce vomiting on her once when she was very little. We thought she ate a grape. And, uh, we induced vomiting and then we found out later the grape was in the trash can. She didn't need it. But um, a turkey baster is a way of getting that to go into the mix. I think it's like baking soda with hydrogen peroxide. Don't quote me on that. Do your own research. Anyway, keep that chocolate away, up high, away from the dogs. I keep my trash cans high. She's 11 years old, but she will always be a puppy. If I had the trash cans down, she, even the, the bathroom trash cans, she would be going through them. So my husband keeps on saying, when is she going to grow out of this? She's 11 years old. Hello? She's not going to grow out of this. Okay, um, anyway, one more thing. Dogs have a huge sense for sweets, not cats. Cats don't like sweets. So that's why you really got to keep the chocolate away. So that's it from Cut the Kibble. Uh, it's a Thursday here in Virginia, almost the weekend. I hope you have a good one.